Hello, this is my agenda for today. Let's start. I will open Android Studio. Create a new project. I will call it OpenCV test. Place a check mark on include C support. Click next. Next. Click next. Next and finish. It will load the project. You'll see an error configuration error. That's because you don't have uh, NDK libraries. We'll download the NDK libraries. Native development kit. Okay, choose your system, whether it's 32 or 64. For me, it's 64 bit. I have downloaded it here already. Let's extract it. Right. Now let's copy the path. Project structure. List the Android development kit. After successful build, you can edit anything here. Now let's run the application. I will use the emulator. Nexus. Being built, installing the application. Now we are done. The C code is running perfectly on the Android device. Now let's include the C uh, OpenCV library. First off, you have to download the Open the SDK for OpenCV. Let's download it from here. Source you should always target the latest version. For me, I will work with 3.4.1. You can always download the EXE version if you want uh, to extract it by yourself. Right. After downloading the SDK, extract it. Just like what we did with the NDK. Now we have it here extracted. I'll just copy the path of the Java module from new. I'll choose import module. Then insert the path, control V. This is the folder. It has my OpenCV SDK. Click next and finish. Now we have an error. It says fail to find target because it, it needs Android 14 SDK and I, I'm not using Android 14 SDK, I'm using 27. 
so we'll open project then we'll navigate to the build gradle and we'll compile SDK version 27 target 27 minimum SDK 15 this is the SDK that you have that you have is uh, uh, that you have installed in the Android Studio. Now let's build the application. Right, successfully built. So let's now open module setting and add a dependency on our project I have now included OpenCV as a dependency on my project now I can write OpenCV code in my project I have a sample here to just load the OpenCV libraries to see whether it's successfully installed or not. Just copy this uh, on resume method. Just trying to open to load the OpenCV library from the uh, package itself from the APK itself. This is what it's slide uh, this line is about. I no I G debug. If it fails, it will uh, try to uh, open the libraries from uh, outside the APK, like from, uh, the OpenCV manager, which can be downloaded from. Google Play. We're still missing the callback. We'll get the callback from here. Always use the function that loads the OpenCV with the synchronous calling when uh, when you release the application only use INIT debug when you debug your application but it's not practical because it could block the user interface right now we, we ran it successfully uh, we don't have any problem remember we are using we are trying to load the OpenCV code, but we are not um, building any uh, libraries inside the APK package itself. So the application will run, but we don't have uh, the libraries. So it tells you that the OpenCV library was not found, but you can download OpenCV Manager from Google Play, and it will select the the, the correct processor uh, uh, instruction set architecture, and download the libraries uh, for you for your mobile. And your mobile application will work perfectly after this. Type. What if we want to embed the OpenCV libraries now? I don't want to uh, download the OpenCV manager and install it from Google Play. Instead, I want to embed it. So I will add a GNI folder. Java native interface. Go to the project view not the Android view project view yes then uh, from application source main 
rename this GNI folder to GNI lips. Mind the case here, please. You have to write it exactly like this. GNI lips. Now open the OpenCV SDK native lips. Copy all these different instruction set architectures from OpenCV libraries and paste it here. If you want to reduce the size, you can only select the specific instruction set architecture that you want to use if you want to lower the APK size. But of course, it will not work on many devices yet. Let's run. It should load the OpenCV library successfully now because we are embedding the OpenCV libraries from the package. Exactly. Perfect. The, the function on resume was called. OpenCV library was found inside the package. Now we are using it. OpenCV was loaded successfully. Now you can start coding using OpenCV in this project with the help of C++ support. Thank you.